What is up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to help your processor and your computer. This is Windows 7. Not sure how to do it on everything else. Uh, make sure you clear your recycle bin after this. Empty it so that stuff will all be gone. Uh, just remember to do that. If you don't, it's still on your computer and it doesn't clear it. And you see this coming up and we're going to try to help it from doing that the computer slow running thing okay go down this search bar thing in your start menu and type pers you can type whatever you want to in it but what we're going to type is percent t e m p temp percent and i highlight it there for you and it should come up in this folder uh... just highlight all this stuff that you see here and delete it this stuff doesn't matter to your computer whatsoever they're just gonna be deleted later anyway so just delete all that stuff and when this comes up just hit skip and um, that will get rid of it and put it in the recycle bin so make sure you clear the recycle bin and here we're gonna go back to the search and type system dot any i n i and it's going to bring this up. It's not system information, it's something else. So type that in and look, it brings up this notepad. And you see 386 up there. Um, if it's not 386, Google what you need to put. It needs to be somewhere around 386. So make sure Google that because I'm not sure what to put after that. I did know, but I don't need more. So we're just going to close that. And we're going back to the system and we're going system config. Just type in so you can find system configuration. Click on it and it takes a little while to load. And you see all these options up here. But we're going to click on boot and you see the timeout here. Make that three seconds. It's not a big deal but it does speed up your computer some. So we're going to go to our advanced options and you see number of processors. Make sure you click this and pull that tab down and click on the highest processor number you have. I was running on just one of my two processors and that makes it slower when you're multitasking. Make your maximum memory zero. Just make it zero and uncheck it and all that good stuff. I'm not going to save any of it since I've got it already saved. And here's another thing you can check about your computer. Um, right click on computer in your start menu and go to properties and it will bring up your computer information I have a really bad processor here well not really bad it's it's okay for a netbook and 1.3 gigahertz you can see all that stuff but we're gonna go to advanced system settings and you see all this good stuff in the, the system properties but we're going to go to our advanced system and go into that and look at all that stuff. Now, this makes it look a lot worse, but if you set it to adjust for performance, it does help with performance. I've tested it, but I probably will not keep on this because as you see here, it makes it look really bad as it's changing. But I hope you guys enjoy this. Hopefully it helps you some. Um, and uh, let me know if it helped you. It, it helped me some. So I hope you guys enjoyed. See you.